What is up guys, Nams here from Saudi Zombie. So today I'm gonna to show you two things. One is how to update or downdate your game, your version of Seven Days to Die. And the other is to turn EAC off. And the reason for this video is that the Alpha 20.5 has kind of murdered the online multiplayer side of the game. Anything more to 15 to 18 or 20 people and the lag on our servers makes the game unplayable. However, 20.3 was pretty good. So first I want to show you how to downgrade to 20.3 and then I'll show you how to turn EAC off because they did say that EAC will not be supported for any version under 20.3. So first step, we come up over here where it says seven days to die in your Steam, in your library, you're gonna right click, go to properties, go to betas, and in this drop down menu here, you have all the versions of seven days to die or the ones that they want you to have. You can even, if you wanted to go all the way back down to 8.8. .8. But we don't need to downgrade that much. What we're going to do is just go to 20.3. And then once you've selected that, you click on the X on the box and you'll see it'll start updating my game right here. Now, this will only take a couple of minutes, but I won't let you watch the whole download time. So I'm going to skip right ahead. And that is done already. The whole thing took around about 30 seconds, if that. And the next thing I need to show you now is to turn EAC off. So you click play and then this little box comes up as usual. But instead of clicking play seven days to die, you're going to select show game launcher hit that play button again and then you see this is easy anti-cheat option right down here you can click it to have it on or click it to turn it off and then you can click run or if you're always going to be playing on our servers you might want to run it and save as default here click that and your game will load up as alpha 20.3 with no eac on Okay, and here we are, as you can see, it's Alpha 20.3 at the top. And if you wanna join our service, it's simple. Click on the join game here. And this is the old menu system. It's so good to see it back. That new filter that they put in, like everybody hates it. I don't know why they've done it. But you can simply just come to the top and you can type sorties and most of our servers will come up. If they don't, then you can come into our Discord and we can get you the direct links to connect straight to it. Or feel free to hit us up on the website at sortiezombies.com. All the information you need is there. Just go to seven this die pve servers or pvp whichever you fancy we have a non-raid pvp server and all the information is there do note we do have servers in the usa we have them in europe two in us two in europe and two in asia or third if you include the pvp one that is also in the usa if you've never actually done direct connect i could also teach you that so if we go into pvp for a second because i know that's an alpha point three already just scroll down and you see here's the port i'm going to take that copy it and the direct connect is like this you connect to ip manually so we can go like this this, paste that in and then I go back down to the website again to get the port it's 29100 easy to remember I don't need to copy paste that but then I will just copy paste that and connect and you will connect to any of the servers that's another thing that a lot of people ask is how do I connect manually with the IP and port and there's your answer right there so guys if you have any questions like I said before you can jump into our discord and I'd be more than happy to help you out all those links will be in the description below so until next time don't be sorry